Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Think Solar 5 kilowatt inverter, and this one's got the green light on it. But if we go in and have a look at the screen, if you tap on the on the screen, it should light up. But as you see here on the screen, we're we're getting a voltage from the DC, 233 volts on input one but the amperage is zero. That means the system's not producing any power at all. And you can see the power being produced in kilowatts of 0.001. It's not doing anything at all. So the green light is on. It looks like it should be working, but the actual system's doing nothing at all. If you're getting zero amps on both DC1 and DC2 and AC amps of zero, it means the system's not producing any power at all. It's seeing the voltage from the solar panels, but it's not producing any power. What I recommend if you uh, are having this issue is try a reboot of the system uh, and, and hopefully that will sort something out. Now with a reboot of a system like this, we recommend you follow a shutdown procedure, which should be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch or inverter AC isolator. The solar supply main switch is in your switchboard. In this case, we've got a inverter AC isolator here, so we're just gonna throw that off and then turn off the PVRA DC isolator located at the inverter. So in our case here, we've got a DC isolator here, so we're just gonna throw that off. And we'll just wait for the inverter to go completely dead. So we just wait for the inverter screen to go completely blank and the lights to stop, just like so. And then we're going to try to reboot the system. It's a bit like your computer, it can have a glitch occasionally which uh, a reboot may sort out. Now, with the startup procedure, it's nowhere near as important as a shutdown procedure. We recommend you just, uh, on the startup procedure, just to make sure everything's turned back on. So we've got the DC over here, so we're gonna throw that back on. And the AC as well, which might be the solar supply main switch in the switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator like so. So now we're just going to see what happens with the inverter. If anything changes on the screen. So at the moment the green light's still flashing, so it should be in a startup procedure still at the moment. Hopefully it actually comes out of the startup procedure. So while the green light's flashing, the inverter's still trying to start up. So you just need to wait for that green light to go on constant. When the green light's on constant, the system should be operational. Just had a relay pull in there. And okay, the green light's gone on constant and it's actually producing power now. So that reboot has actually sorted out the issue and it's actually producing. You can see the DC amps here is 2.9 amps and we're actually producing some power now, which we weren't doing that before. So a reboot of the system in this case has rectified the issue. If a reboot does fix it, well, that's fantastic. Keep an eye close on it. If after a reboot you're still getting nothing being produced, no kilowatts being produced and no amperage on the uh, DC input, uh, then it looks like it's an internal fault with the inverter and you would have to try and uh, get it in touch with Think Solar. And um, good luck with that because Think Solar aren't actually represented in Australia. So you may have trouble getting service out of China. I recommend you get in contact with your original installers to see if you can get any warranty help that way. On the right hand side of the inverter is the inverter data plate which you can see here. So this one's a, a five, S5000 TL is a model so it's a 5 kilowatt inverter this one. So if you're having issues with your Think Solar solar inverter and you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, you can get in touch with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We can certainly help and uh, try and get your system back in action for you. If you're somewhere else in Australia, I recommend you get in contact with a local accredited solar installer.